everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode Teacher Summer Vacation. Maruko, get up. What is it, Mom? Don't give me that. Look at you. Why are you sleeping in the hallway? Because it's nice and cool in the hallway, that's why. Oh, brother. Well, <sighs> anyway, it's already noon. What? Already? I went and exercised and had breakfast and took a nap and it's already noon. <sighs> Boy, time really flies in summer, doesn't it? Don't spend your time idly, even though it's your summer vacation. Don't be ridiculous, Mom. When can I spend time idly if I don't do it in my summer vacation? Besides, I'm worried about being exhausted by the heat. I should get more rest. <sighs> oh. You get up! I wonder why my mom keeps on nagging me so much during my summer vacation. As soon as she sees me, she tells me to do my homework or to help her around the house. <laughs> if she doesn't tell you, you won't do anything. <sighs> I feel like I don't even have a moment to relax, you know? How can you say that after sleeping till noon? Mine is like that, too. She tells me to eat breakfast quick and then fold the futon. Just like mine, Boo. I wonder if they envy us for having a long summer vacation. That might be part of it. Mm -hmm. My dad was saying the other day that he wished he could have a long vacation like a grade school pupil. My mom says the same thing, too. She said she works 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. So in comparison, I'm super lucky. Yeah, I guess adults are busy every day, huh? It's hard work in this hot weather, Boo. Mm. Mm. Hey, let's race! Uh -huh. Hey, come on, wait up! Hey, kids, no running by the poolside! Yes. We're sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fine. Oh. Hey, besides supervise the pool and school days during the vacation, I wonder what our teachers do on their days off. Huh? What's that? I just mean I don't think they have much to do when they're on summer vacation. You know what? That's kind of true. I guess they can just sit back and relax at home, right? They come to school even during vacation. I saw Mr. Tagawa after our summer vacation had already started. I met Mr. Tagawa yesterday too, Boo. Do they have things to do even though there are no lessons? Mm. <sighs> I don't see Mr. Tagawa, Boo. Is something wrong? <gasps> do you need something? Uh, well, I... I need to see Mr. Togawa, please. Mr. Togawa's in the gym. You can go there. <sighs> he looks powerful, Bill. Uh, uh. I think you better put your hands forward more. That will make your stance straighter and propel you more. Uh, oh, yes. Thank you for the advice. Shall we practice leaping with our legs closed now? Mm. for our PE lesson. Yes. In order to teach our pupils properly, we have to show you all an example. So we teachers have to practice everything beforehand during the vacation. Oh. <gasps> Sir, you look so awesome, Boo. Well, we practiced on the horizontal bar yesterday, and I got some blisters from that, too. Oh, my, it looks painful. I see. 
see. So they don't really have leisure time during the summer vacation. Mr. Tagawa? Huh? Are you done with your gym practice? Yes. Okay, then. I'm going to take my turn to supervise the kids at the pool. Please take care of this for me. <laughs> no problem. Mommy, eat your veggies. Does it taste good, little bunny rabbits? I didn't know teachers do these things as well, Boo. During the vacation, there's nobody to take care of these little guys. So us teachers take turns taking care of them. I see. For us, summer vacation has nothing to do with animals. Here, eat well, guys. Well, I think they're happy to see you all today. They miss being around people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping me clear all the books. Teachers read these kind of books, too? Hey, sir. I read uh, this book as well, Boo. It's a great story about the north wind competing with the sun, and it's so cool, Boo. That's one of Aesop's fables. That book is one of my favorites, too. Huh? I thought an adult would read something more difficult and fancy, like a biography or something. I read those, too, but the books here are the ones I read when I was in grade school. Before I introduced them to you in the second quarter, I thought I would read them all over again. So you mean you read lots of books during the summer just to teach us? No, that's not the only reason why. Good books are meant to be read over and over again. <gasps> Our classroom. It feels kind of strange to be here during a holiday, though, doesn't it? Huh? Oh, I didn't realize the classroom was this big. That's because there's no one here, Boo. I was in here every day before the summer vacation started. It feels a bit nostalgic, you know? Yeah, it sure does. Teacher, what do you want us to do next, Boo? We can fix the torn parts of the posters in the timetable. <sighs> I honestly didn't know teachers did so many things. We do other things, too, like painting the rides in the schoolyard and pulling out weeds in the flower beds. Oh. Tell me, what do you do every day on your summer vacation, girls? Well, uh, I try to help out my mom as much as I can around the house, like carrying plates and picking up the newspaper for her. That's very good of you. I believe your family is happy to have your help. Sakura-san, how about you? Yeah, I do the same kind of stuff as Tama-chan. I guess I just help a bit here and there. Bet you don't have the nerve to tell him that you slept till noon. Well, I go out and catch insects every day. I found a big stag beetle like this big in the park the other day. Oh, that's so interesting. You should put that in your picture diary, Hamaji. Yeah. Teacher, I go outdoors every day too, Boo. I like playing with Tomiko in the water or catching a ball with her. Tomita-kun takes good care of his younger sister. Boo! <laughs> I'd like you kids to do things that you only do during summer vacation. All those experiences will become precious memories for you in the future. Yes! How did you spend your summer vacation when you were a little boy? What did you like doing? Well, in fact, I admit I love catching insects like Hamazaki-kun. I used to go far away from my home with my friends to catch different ones. It was fun. Hey, guys, let's try and catch huge jumbo dragonflies today. Yeah, but are you sure they're in this mountain, Hidei-chan? I haven't seen any. Don't you worry. I checked in the illustrated reference book. Adult jumbo dragonflies inhabit the area near clean streams and in the cool shade at the margin of the forest. They're here. Good. Let's go farther upstream and catch them. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh. A jumbo dragonfly. Hide uh, Chan, uh, 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 hold very still. Uh -huh. Shh. Look up. Beautiful creature. So did you catch that jumbo dragonfly? Sadly, while I was looking at it, it flew away. That was a great chance, Boo. I know. I really wish I could have caught it. 
Thank you, everyone, for helping me out with my duties today. I was able to finish them early. Teacher, I'll come help you again tomorrow. And I'll come too, Bill. Oh, thank you. But tomorrow, I need to go check out a place for a field study, so I won't be at school, unfortunately. You're busy every day, Boo. Now I feel bad that only students have summer holidays. Mm. No, don't feel bad. I enjoy everything that I do. Uh -huh. You do, even though you're so busy? The tasks we do during the summer vacation are the preparation for you to be able to enjoy coming to school in the second quarter. Uh -huh. Teacher. Mm -hmm. A jungle uh -huh. dragonfly! Huh? Teacher, hurry up, hurry up! W what's the matter? Hold it! Hold it, please! Hold it, Boo! <gasps> Teacher, try and use my hat. He did it! Yeah, he did it! it! <laughs> Yay! Everyone, thank you. I've added another precious memory of a wonderful day during summer vacation. <laughs> well then, teacher, goodbye. All right, take care on your way home, kids. Goodbye, Bill. <laughs> goodbye, sir. <laughs> goodbye, kids. And now knowing how Mr. Tagawa spends his days during the summer vacation only makes Maruko and the others like him even more. Episode, Maruka wants to watch fireworks. Hey, Mom! Will you prepare my yukata for me, please? Yes, yes. And get me a mat as well. Yes, yes. Oh, hey, Maruka, what's up? <sighs> Grandpa, <laughs> there's a fireworks show tonight. Oh, yes, you're right. It's a fireworks show that's held just once a year. I'm so excited about it. Yes, it sounds fun. I'm guessing there will be lots of street stalls there, too. I guess so. I bet it would taste amazing to have some grilled squid while watching the fireworks. I guess so. As well as some shaved ice, grilled corn, and octopus dumplings. Grandpa, I want to eat some nice sweet cotton candy as well. Oh, all right, then it's settled. We'll go. Maruko! <laughs> Maruko's plan to make him buy her things by using confusing statements has failed. Like Grandpa, we've, we've got a big problem. It started raining. Yes, they say it's only a quick shower, but, well... Uh... What's going to happen to the fireworks show, then? Um, I'm afraid it might be cancelled. Huh? No, no way! Well, you don't need to worry. I'm sure it will stop raining very soon. Uh... Oh. It looks like the rain won't stop anytime soon. I made plans to go watch fireworks with Yoshiko-san tonight. But it looks like it's going to be cancelled. Uh, hey, Maruko. What? We can always go watch the fireworks show next year. So would you like to play a board game with me right now instead? Play a board game? I'm sorry, but I don't feel like playing right now. Oh, come on. Don't say that. You may find this board game fun. Grandpa, oh. nothing sounds like fun to me right now. All I want to do is watch fireworks and eat cotton candy. Oh, I see. How silly I am for trying to make Maruko feel better with a board game. What was I thinking? I, Tomoso Sakura 76, still have a lot to learn. I'm sorry, Maruko. Huh? It's not your fault, Grandpa. You didn't have anything to do with making it rain. Oh, Maruko. Huh? Huh? 
Big news, Maruko! The fireworks are being set off now! Huh? Oh. Look, it stopped raining! Papa, hurry up, hurry up! Uh, wait to me, Maruko! Papa, we've got to hurry or the fireworks will be over soon! But, but, but I'm out of breath already! <laughs> give, uh, give me a few minutes to rest, please. Oh, hurry up, Grandpa! Fireworks show goes on, the old man is left behind, the grandchild goes away. By Tomozo, a haiku have been left behind. Uh, I can't see from here. I should go up to a higher ground as fast as I can. Oh, come on. Can't we do something about this massive crowd? How am I going to see it? Amaryllis? Come back here, Amaryllis! Sakura-san! Sakura-san! Sakura-san, please help me catch Amaryllis! Help me catch him? That's easy for you to say! It looks like she got too excited by the fireworks and ran off. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> That's it. Well, anyway, thanks to Amaryllis, I got up to the top of the riverbank really quickly. Oh, I'd like to try some grilled squid. Huh? It's freshly grilled squid. It's freshly grilled. Come and get some while it's hot. Oh, it smells delicious. Uh -huh. oh. Sakura, is that you? Huh? Kasugi? Did you come here to buy grilled squid too? No, I didn't, Kasugi. I came here to watch the fireworks show. Huh? This grilled squid is extremely tasty. This might be the best grilled squid I've ever had, and I've had a lot. Mm. Yeah, is it really? Oh. Huh? Wow. Oh, no. The fireworks are awesome, don't you think? <laughs> Kasugi, this is all your fault. I'm missing the fireworks show now. Huh? I don't care about grilled squid. I just want to see the fireworks. So do I. That's not what you said earlier in the day, was it? Oh, I can't see a thing in a huge crowd like this. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah! Are you stepping on my foot? Oh, Noguchi-san's brother. G good evening to you. No, that's right. You're my sister's friend. Hey, you apologized to him. You stepped on Fujio's foot, didn't you? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Oh, how beautiful. Huh? Ah! Kakia, you're more beautiful than wow. anything. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Uh... Hey, don't cut in front of us. Uh, that's right. We've been here for over an hour to save this spot to watch the fireworks. Uh... Right, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I suppose this spot will be all right. Hey, it's Sakura, Joe! Huh? I'm here, Joe! I'm here, uh, Joe! Uh, huh? <laughs> 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 it's beautiful, Joe! Yamada, you called out to me at the worst moment. Huh? I missed watching the fireworks because you yelled out to me! Tell me what you're gonna do about that! I see. I'm sorry, but I know a place where we can watch the fireworks better than from here, Joe. Uh -huh. To make it up to you, I'll take you there, Joe. <laughs> really? Well, thanks a lot, Yamada. <laughs> Maruko is a girl whose mood changes lightning fast. Hey, Yamada, where exactly is this place where we can watch the fireworks? Over there, Joe. Ow. No kidding. We can watch them from the top of that roof over there, Joe. You see, if we climb this big tree, we can get up on the roof, Joe. I can't believe it. I'll climb up first, and then, Sakura, you can climb after me, okay, Joe? Hey, hey Yamada! Yamada, you shouldn't do that! Don't do it! It's all right, Joe. I'm used to climbing up onto the top of trees. I'm not worried about that. You shouldn't climb up on the roof of someone's house. Come back! <laughs> Fireworks have just...
just stopped. Guess it's over, Joe. No, it can't be. Oh, no, I really need to pee, Joe. Yeah, ma da. <laughs> Why is there no public toilet around here? I can't hold it anymore, Joe. What? No, you have to hold it. I'm going to start leaking, Joe. Hey, Amada. <sighs> What am I doing out here wandering around the alleyways? I didn't watch the fireworks. I'm looking for a toilet for Yamada. I can't believe what an unlucky girl I am. Yamada, are you done yet? Huh? <sighs> great Joe! Great Joe! <laughs> Have all your belongings with you as one step when leaving the viewing area. Maruko! Huh? Grandpa! <laughs> I'm glad I found you, Maruko. Are you all right? Oh, Grandpa, the fireworks were amazing! Oh, good. Good for you. Yeah, I saw them really up close. They exploded just above my head like this big one. It went boom and boom! And the sparks just fell down like rain, and I was I so happy. I hardly watched any of the fireworks because I was so busy looking for Maruko. For sure, I'm so happy I saw them. Missed the spark of fireworks, yet the sparkling smile of my grandchild looks brighter to me. By Tomozo, a haiku of adoring my grandchild regardless of the situation. For Maruko and Tomozo, tonight's fireworks show was definitely a memorable event. <laughs>